Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch and I have this beautiful path to paint. It's actually on the way to the famous Bass Harbor Lighthouse, but the path there, it was absolutely beautiful. The light was coming through the trees, everything just glowed and sparkled, really beautiful colors. So I hope that you will paint this with me. Let's paint. I'm starting out with a mop brush and I'm using the Arches um, 140 pound block and rough press. And I'm going to be using a little bit of um, cobalt blue and kind of a very wet wash to get that sparkle. A mop brush on the rough press paper makes a huge difference because you can just skim over the surface of the paper and there's little bits, even when it's more wet like this, then I'm going to go back and skim over it and you, it has the hazy sparkle feel that you want and it's really simple to do. So just very quickly move your brush. I'm using the rough press of the paper to make that sparkle. I want a little bit of color in the sky, very subtle. And if I put a little over here at the same time, it's going to make less contrast later on. So the center of interest will stay with that bright lights. Now I have some light yellows in here, just the, the light coming off the trees, and that's really, really interesting. And I'm going to paint them with some um, Azo yellow, and then I'm going to um, add a little bit of wax crayon to that. Even a little bit bolder for that haze. Just let your brush move really quickly. You're looking for hit and miss, kind of a wet wash with a lot of holes. There's not too much white in here. Now I'm gonna to have to wait a few minutes for this to dry. So while that's happening, I'm gonna get started in some other areas. some very pale roots here. Unfortunately, the roots have to be background for this painting, but maybe a later painting, they might be a focus because they're really interesting. They're gnarled and growing in the rocks and some of them are sun bleached and just really interesting. And I want so badly to put detail in them, but if I do, I'll mess up the painting. And that is one thing about painting is you always have to keep your eye on what your, the point of that painting is. And anything that doesn't lead you towards that point, like a gorgeous sailboat, leave it. Kind of tricky not making it look like a photo filter or something like that, but really the sun glare that you get when you're walking down a path into the sun. Now it's time for the rigor. This is actually the most important part of this painting. This is the focus. This is what we're doing this for. These really cool pine trees or balsam firs, and they are glary lit by the sun, and there's little bits that are, you can't see at all, and there's little bits that are deep, deep shadows. So that means I want a fairly dry brush. I don't want to do the same brush strokes on all of these pine trees because the ones off to the sides away from my center of focus, well, they're not as glary, right? You don't have that very strong, bright spotlight behind them. And I also don't want to call as much attention for them. There, there is a backdrop not the main focus of the painting. So remember backdrop, not backdrop. And that, that is one of the hardest things to do about painting. 
So I'm really, I'm using my rigger. Um, I'm standing up here because I found out you really can't use a rigger when you're not standing up. I usually sit up, uh, uh, stand up and sit down all throughout a painting and move around. So video limits a little of that. But um, strong rigger strokes and just let your brush dance. Your feet should be moving. You should be, you should be really into this painting at this point. And don't worry about drawing every line perfectly because these are interesting craggy trees and they have been beaten by the wind and, you know, sun and they're growing in rocks just like those cool roots. So they're gnarled and they have all kinds of weird angles that if you were going to think, to ask a kindergartner, what does a tree look like? This is not what they would give you. This is not the perfect, you go down to the store and get this perfect Christmas tree. These are really interesting. So you don't need to worry about every line because that rigor brush, it's your friend. It will do half the lines for you. Now, I know you're going to look at these ones over on the side and say, um, yes, but they're blurring into water and it's just wet and it's going everywhere. Trust me, it's going to be really interesting. And then you look at the other ones in the middle and say, well, they're not blurred at all. So that doesn't work. They don't go together. Yes, but water is our friend. We can use little water droplets and splatter it on there. And I will show you how to do that later because it has to be done just right. But trust me, it's going to work. So I'm using some cobalt blue, some Nicolazzo yellow, a little um, Azo yellow, a little bit of cobalt violet. I think there's some Quinn Rust in there. It's a little bit of everything. And it's not all exactly the same. And that's pretty important too, is you want variation in there. You're gonna have the most contrast at the center of interest and also where the sun is glaring so it creates those strong dark shadows. A lot more detail here, but I am going to go back and blur some of the detail and you can do that with water droplets. You can do that by scrubbing it. You can do that by painting a wash over it. And I'll do at least two of those techniques. Speed it up a little bit. Now I've put the wax crayon all in some of the yellow areas, so it's going to resist it beautifully. Use a lot of paint when you're mixing. Just go in and get it. Um, don't worry about tiny, tiny little amounts. I mean, I go through so much paint. It's unbelievable. And even for me, it still isn't that expensive. So use the paint. It's the buying all of it at once that kills you. Um, <laughs> but if you don't use a lot of pigment, then you're not going to get those rich colors and you need to use enough water with it. Don't worry about watering it down. You need to use enough water with it so that it flows properly. So don't skimp on paint and really, you know, really mix it well together on the palette. Um, you want most of the paint to be blurring together.
first wash when you put down the wax crayon is so much fun to see because you don't know exactly, it's a bit hit and miss, you don't know exactly where it's going to appear. It's fun. Make sure you do some really strong darks over the wax crayon just so you can fully appreciate the, the fun of it. So I'm using a little bit of ultramarine blue and some cobalt violet and some cobalt blue. So just really strong, tiny tinge of the Quinn Rust in there just to dull it a little bit. So just let your brush really move and blur those edges. And don't forget that the edge of all these bushes and the trees and all that, it's backlit. So it's going to have a very, very different um, cool warm value at the in the shadows than at the edges where it's backlit. It's going to completely change the color and it's not necessarily green. Keep that in mind. Green trees don't necessarily look green in different lighting. So I'm still leaving the path pretty blank there. I'm going to put some shadows under the bushes and some really bright greens there so that leads you down into that path. Now I've gotten some really bright greens on there and I've gotten the, um, the wax crayon. And so now it's time for some strong darks. Now I'm not necessarily doing all my strong darks with my darkest colors in this because this is, the sunlight is different than a shaded barn or, you know, something else. The, it's a very blue to violet shadows, very hazy. So it's not going to be the strongest darks I've ever painted in a painting. And that's good. Painting should vary. You should do ones that have really strong, deep darks and some that are a little hazy. And, you know, you want about six steps of the value scale, um, in a painting, but they don't have to be the same six steps in every painting, and that's the key. So mixing the colors, and now I'm going back and adding a little bit of detail in some of these trees or blurring the detail in some of these trees. That's mostly blurring up there, and I kind of want that to go off the edge of the painting a bit. Isn't that beautiful? So back with the rigor, adding some detail. And just let your brush dance. Have some fun with this. This is a really fun painting to do because it, it does have that, that wonderful sunspot and it feels like you're, you know, it's just an absolutely beautiful walk. It's a very short walk to um, Bass Harbor Lighthouse. And but it's very beautiful, very, very steep stairs. Don't do it if you're not used to steep stairs. But I have two flights in my house, so I go up and down all the time. But um, my kids, it was interesting seeing them clamber on the rocks. That was one of our more exciting experiences in Maine, not Bass Harbor Lighthouse in particular, but just clambering on rocks. Um, okay, here, I'm taking a little bit of phthalo blue, not at full strength. Phthalo blue is one of those it'll kill you colors if you use it. It's very staining, so you can't get rid of it. Build it up in layers if you're not sure. But I want to have a little bit more of that um, vignette sort of effect where I'm pulling that bright blue summer ocean you know, just the beautiful summer ocean, the one with the sailboats and all sorts of things. And um, I'm going to also integrate that with the trees a little bit more. It's still 
the trees were still standing out a little bit much. So that helps vignette it in that, that um, sunspot. So I'm just pulling that around and I'm using brush strokes in the direction of the waves. A little bit more rigor. And oh, those, those roots, I, I've got to go back and sketch those roots for a day because, oh, they're really neat. Maybe a little less populated path than the same sort of thing. of the famous pink granite of Mount Desert Island. Some deeper shadows just in a few places. I don't want those everywhere. Um, just kind of neatening up some edges. Now I've blurred some of those trees with the water droplets. You can see that. Um, I'm adding a little bit of detail with these stairs because I do want them to feel like stairs. Like I said, they're incredibly steep stairs. Um, and then there's the rock stairs right there. So, you know, I want it to feel like you're going down into that. You're being pulled into the painting. That's really one of the things that's so wonderful about painting paths is, or roads or anything like that is, is you feel drawn down it. I do too. I mean, that's why I'm painting it. <laughs> So I'm going to show you the detail on the last tree. And this is the one that I waited to the very end because it was the hardest. And I wanted to have it just right from the start. I didn't want to go back and change it. I wanted to have it perfect or, you know, perfect, perfectly gnarled. <laughs> So just very dry brush and keep on going with it. It you, you don't want to do every single branch on these. You definitely, you have more misses where you just skip the whole branch and you maybe just have a little bit of a shadow where it was cast and that's it. Some finishing touches on the granite and those cute little flowers there. And goldenrod, I think. I want to show y'all the sketch that I did while I was up in Maine and tell you that it inspired me, obviously, to paint this. I took a photo, I did a sketch, and now I'm painting the actual painting, which I usually do in my studio. But the experience of sketching something while you're hiking through the woods or just sitting beside a lovely beach it, it's just wonderful. You're completely immersed in that moment and you carry that with you forever. It's, it's the best way to really see a place and experience it fully. I hope it, and this inspired you to maybe go for a walk and sketch a little bit and maybe paint this, maybe go see a lighthouse. And if you'd like some more information and uh, the demo photo and all that sort of thing, please visit my website, paintingwatercolor.com. And I hope to see you soon. We'll have Christmas cards very, very soon because it's Christmas season. Happy painting. <laughs>